In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the interior and the exterior angle in a regular polygon. So what exactly is a regular polygon? Well, it's a polygon where all the sides are the same length and all the angles have the same measurement. So we're going to use two formulas in this lesson. We're going to use the n minus 2 times 180, which is equal to the sum of the interior angles. So all these angles on the inside added up together. And then we're also going to make use of the fact that the sum of all the exterior angles in a polygon always add up to 360, no matter how many sides there are, no matter how many angles there are. So just to kind of illustrate why does this formula work, if you were to take, like, say, for example, a pentagon, a pentagon has five sides or five angles, you can subdivide it into how many triangles? Well, you can see there's one, two, three triangles. And you learned earlier in geometry how in a triangle, all these angles are going to add up to 180 degrees. But if you have three triangles times 180, that's going to be 540 degrees. And so what we're doing is you can see there's always two less triangles than the number of sides in the polygon. So that's why this formula works. Now for the exterior angles, what an exterior angle is, is say you have like a little triangle like this. If you extend one of the sides of the polygon, it doesn't matter whether you extend this side or this side, just one side at each vertex, the exterior angle is the angle that's formed between that extended side and the polygon. So you can see here that we have three exterior angles. And what it does is it forms like a circle, 360 degrees. So no matter how many sides, how many angles, the exterior angles will always add up to 360. So let's go through some examples now and talk about how can you exactly find the measure of just one of the interior angles in a regular polygon and one of the exterior angles. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Let's start off by working with a regular hexagon. So we know a hexagon has six sides, six angles. So one way to do this is we could say, hmm, 6 minus 2 is 4 times 180 degrees is equal to 720 degrees. So that means that all these angles here on the inside of this hexagon are going to add up together to 720 degrees. But how many angles do we have? We have six angles. So if we were to divide this by six, you can see that each one of these angles would be 120 degrees, 120, 120, etc. Now we've got the interior angle. How do we find the exterior angle? Well, a simple way is just to extend one of these sides like so. And you can see that this forms a line and we're going to have two angles that form what we call a linear pair. So linear means line, pair means two. And so these two angles have to add up to 180. So that means that the exterior angle equals 60 degrees. Now, another way that you could approach this is that you can say, I know that all the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. So if I was to extend one of the sides on each, at each vertex of this hexagon, I could say, well, they all add up to 360. So if I just take 360 degrees divided by six, that comes out to 60 degrees. And then once I have that exterior angle, I can then just subtract from 180 to find the interior angle. Again, keep in mind, this is just for regular polygons where all the sides are congruent, all the angles are congruent. Let's take a look at another example. So for example number two, let's take a look at a regular decagon. So decagon is like decade, 10 years in a decade. And we don't always know how to draw some of these polygons, but what we can do is we can draw like one angle in the polygon and just kind of sketch out the rest of it. It doesn't have to be exact. We're mainly focused on just this one angle. So again, two different options. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the exterior angle. So I'm going to extend this side. I'm going to look at this exterior angle and I know that all the exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and take 360 degrees divided by the 10 exterior angles and then that's going to give us a measure of 36 degrees for our exterior angle. Now all we have to do, since this forms a line, a linear pair, this interior angle is going to be 180 minus 36 degrees, which comes out to 144 degrees. So that's one option. The other option is to go to our sum of our interior angles formula and let's do n minus 2 times 180. So in this case there's 10 
angle, so we're going to say 10 minus 2 times 180, which gives us 8 times 180, which let's go to the calculator. I believe that's 1,440. But remember, that's the sum of all the interior angles. We just want one interior angle. So if we divide that by 10, that comes out to 144 degrees. Then all you have to do is subtract from 180 and you have your exterior angle. Let's take a look at one more example. So before we dive into example number three, which is like a word problem, I just wanted to mention that if you're interested in some more of my content, I've got an Algebra 1 and an Algebra 2 video course for sale. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check that out if you're studying Algebra, Algebra 2, College Algebra, check those courses out. And if you just want to support the channel and just uh, help out what I'm doing here on YouTube, consider joining as a channel member. So for a few dollars a month, you can help support the channel and I really appreciate it. So for example number three, it says find the number of sides in a regular polygon if the measure of one of the interior angles is 168. So this is an interesting problem because we're actually working backwards to find the number of sides or the number of angles in this regular polygon. So let's go ahead and set this up two different ways. The first way is n minus 2 times 180 is the sum of all the interior angles. But if we divide by the number of interior angles, that'll give us the measure of just one interior angle. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. What I would do is I would multiply both sides by n. That way the numerator and denominator here cancel. Whatever you do to the left, you want to do to the right. Then what I would do is I would distribute this 180 degrees into the parentheses. So that gives us 180n minus 360 is equal to 168n. Then I would subtract 180n. I want to get the variables on one side, numbers on the other. It's just a basic uh, algebra equation. And so you can see we're getting negative 360 is equal to negative uh, 12n. And then if we divide both sides by negative 12, n is coming out to 30. So what we have here is a 30 gone, basically meaning this is a polygon with 30 sides or 30 angles. Now, this took a little bit of time, so there's a, another shortcut method that you can do, which is to focus on the this formula here, that all the exterior angles add up to 360. And so if we know the interior angle is 168, 180 minus 168 gives us the exterior angle of 12 degrees. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say 360, which is the sum of the exterior angles, divided by the number of exterior angles, which we don't know yet, equals the measure of just one of the exterior angles. Now all we have to do is multiply both sides by n, and you can see we have 12n equals 360, and if we divide both sides of that equation by 12, you can see that n is coming out to 30, same exact answer. So two different ways to approach that. So if you wanna see some more examples where I'm talking about working with polygons, I'll put a video for you right there. Follow me over to that video and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.